Today is August 2, 2017, Wednesday. These are the five inpatients, the red ear sliders. Now we are talk about the uh, first one. Okay, what's the name of the first one? Winnie. Winnie has been here for how many days? Four days. It's been here for four days for not eating after purchase for one week. So the owner believes there's a respiratory problem. And the second one? Uh, how long? How long? Days. Six days here. Same problem. Not eating after purchase for one week. So what they feed is the small globular pellets for hatchlings, which uh, they, they don't eat. So these are the two hatchlings. Then number three, number three has been here for over four weeks. The owner, the owner didn't come back for him. So he's ab ab abandoned. He came here for shell, shell rot or white spots. But now he's fully recovered. Appetite, how's the appetite for this one? Good. Good, nah? Huh? It's a lot, yeah. He's back to normal. Then now we come to the fourth one, number four. Number four is albino break ear slider, about one year old. This problem, it came out how many days ago? Uh, three days ago. Three days ago for shell rot, as you can see. On top of the shell, there's one big wound which we have to debride and clean up. Take this one, then we we will uh, we take out and see that here come. You see here that uh, put down, put down. You can see that the shell rot is one, two, three, four, four areas at least. Any more here? No more. No more. Then on top, on top, put down, on, put, put down, put down. On top there's one here. So what we do is we already clean up the wound, and uh, at night we should put neodym in, the neodym, and a dry dock. Other than that. You can see this is the bridge. This is bad. The owner treated himself with Chinese medicated oil but not successful. Okay, so one, two, three. Actually five. There's two more small ones there. It's quite active, it is a lot. Okay, put it back in first. Then the last one. Last one is a is a mod. Came in five days ago. It's about eleven years old. I'll bring it please here. And uh, the problem was the right eye was uh, Right eyelid was closed, closed and swollen, turned to a bit of a side due to scarring of the cornea. You can see he must be scratching his eyes because you can see the white, white uh, cornea on the left side of the eye. So the owner wanted it to be fully treated and recovered before going back. See the left eye? Left eye, there is a bit of scratching on the Media canters, you can see a bit of redness. And other than that, the shell is okay. Shell is okay. In fact, this is this is called pyramiding due to too much food. Nah, the shell becomes very uh, overlapping. The overlap. It's called pyramiding. It means too much good food. You feed too often. And here below, there is no shell rot. There is no injury. No, but there's some inflammation of the skin. Okay, put it back. Standing. Standing first. So, the, the main thing is the eyelid. He keeps scratching his eyelid until it becomes swollen at home. Now here he looks better. He's been given injections for anti-inflammatory antibiotics. Okay, put it back. So basically these are the five. Five inpatients of uh, red ear sliders came in for treatment this one was I will consider abandoned abandoned and uh, been here for four weeks no, two months two months uh, eight weeks already the owner doesn't come back for it then these two are the newly purchased hatchlings uh, nowadays there's some some uh, respiratory disease in hatchlings especially from red ear sliders from Malaysia these two are probably from USA but they might have been infected 
So as in August, there is a shortage of red gear sliders due to the signals in the hatchlings believed to be res respiratory tract infections. So the shops are not selling any red gear sliders now because there is a shortage. Now this will make a good pet if anybody is interested. And uh, this is an albino, which is rather a rare one. Albino is supposed to be about a year old, you can see it's so big. And uh, that one is about uh, 11 years old. Is it 11 years old? Yes. Okay, so this is the situation as at August 22017, Topayo Vets, 5 inpatients. Yeah, yes, like that.